For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rule of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole of God, and that you may be able to stand in the kingdom of the Son. Stand therefore, gripped above it, and have it on the breast of rest, and feast on with the preparation of God of peace. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So, we thank Sister Shatovia for reading this scripture for us tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So I am asking all the visitors who are here with us to write your name, church, and who invited you so that we can meet you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are together again, just praising the Lord. We are together again. On one something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. We are together again. Just in the Lord, we are together again. Just praising the Lord, we are together again. On one accord, something good is going to happen. Something good is going to again. Just friend the Lord. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. In one upon. Something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Can everyone mute their mic and just give the Lord a praise? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Please mute your mic and give a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. We just want to give God thanks. We're here to worship. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus. We're here to, you know, give God thanks for all that he has done for us. Because we could have not been here today. But because of God's and his mercy, he has given us another chance to be here. Um, you know, while I was praying this morning, and, you know, I was just giving God thanks that he lent me breath. And when I reflect on so many who did not get that opportunity this morning, you know, to give God thanks to our 
to even repent or get another chance to live again. I really and truly give God thanks for sparing my life. It's not because I am better than anybody. It's not because God loves me more, but because of his grace and because of his mercy, why I am here. So we are here to give thanks. We are just here to worship and we're here to pray for each other. And now we're going to go into our series of prayer. So we're going to take two prayer and afterward we're just going to have Evangelist Basil to, you know, welcome all our visitors that are here with us tonight in Jesus' name. God. So the first the first person who will be praying for us. We're gonna ask Sister Sarah Newman to pray for us. And she's going to pray for prayer against the spirit of depression. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Lord, everybody. Praise God. Um, thank you all for joining and just bow your heads and agree with me as I pray in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. God, it's a day that I have never seen before and one I'll never see again. Lord, I thank you for remembering me this morning, for calling my name, for even just waking me up in my right mind, God. Truly, it is nothing good that I have done while I'm still alive, God, none of us, but it is all because of your grace and your mercies towards us, Lord. And I just want to thank you. I just want to praise you. God, you deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise. You deserve all the honor that is due unto your name, God. There is truly none like you, Lord Jesus. And God, I worship you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your amazing grace towards us, God. Your graces and your mercies that are renewed each morning. And Lord, even right now, Lord Jesus, as I was asked to pray for against the spirit of depression, Lord, you know what this thing is, Lord. God, we've always heard the word depression and some of us might understand what it is and some of, some of us might not understand what it is, but even right now, Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will expose the plan of the enemy even right now, Lord Jesus. God, everything, Lord Jesus, that the enemy tries to hide, Lord Jesus, I pray that even right now that it will be brought to the light, Lord. God, so many of us struggle with this thing so many of us are suffering with it lord and we don't even know and we hide it lord jesus as if that will make anything better but i pray in the name of jesus that this thing will be revealed even right now lord jesus oh god i pray against this spirit lord jesus that causes us to hang our heads lord jesus that causes us lord jesus to be overly self-critical lord jesus that gives us all these different thoughts lord jesus thoughts that are not of you lord jesus god i pray that even right now lord jesus that your spirit will lift up standard even right now lord jesus especially for the ones that don't even understand what this thing is lord jesus what this spirit is lord god that it is a plan of the enemy a plan for us to oh god walk off the path that you have set out for us lord jesus but i pray that even right now lord jesus that you'll open up our understanding and help us to understand lord jesus that this is a spirit lord jesus and that it is not of you and i pray oh god that you'll give us the tools lord jesus to fight this thing right now lord jesus i pray oh god for those who are suffering lord jesus in silence lord god i pray that even right now lord jesus that you'll give them the strength to break their silence lord jesus god it is hard to talk about lord jesus and some persons even talk about it Lord Jesus and they're told not to talk about it that you are not feeling this way or it's just your mind but I pray that even right now Lord Jesus that they will open their mouth Lord Jesus because once they open their mouth Lord Jesus they shame the devil right now Lord God I pray, oh God, that you'll help them to remember, God, that even when no one else is there for them, Lord Jesus, you are there with them, Lord Jesus. Help us not to feel, Lord God, as if we are alone, Lord Jesus, but help us to always remember that you are there with us, Lord Jesus, and you said in your words, Lord, that you will neither leave us nor forsake us right now, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I pray, oh God, for those, Lord Jesus, who have been battling with this 
illness for so long. I pray that even right now, Lord Jesus, that you give them joy in their spirit right now, Lord Jesus. I pray that even right now, Lord Jesus, that your spirit will lift up a standard right now, Lord God. I pray, oh God, that even right now, Lord Jesus, that you remove, Lord Jesus, this spirit of depression, Lord God, and give them a spirit of praise and of joy, Lord Jesus. Help them to come out of this situation, God, knowing that you were there with them, Lord Jesus, and that you have never left them and you will never leave them, Lord God. I pray that even right now, Lord Jesus, that you remove the skill from my eyes. Help us to see that this is a real problem and it affects youth, it affects older persons, it affects everyone, Lord God. Help us not to be ashamed to talk about it, Lord Jesus. That's one thing that the enemy tries to use to keep us in our situation, God. He uses shame. But I pray against the spirit of shame, Lord Jesus. Your word said, Lord God, that there is therefore now no condemnation, Lord God. I pray against the spirit of condemnation and I pray against the spirit of guilt even right now, Lord Jesus, that will want to cause us to feel, Lord God, that it is our fault, Lord Jesus. I pray even right now, Lord God, that you just touch our hearts right now, Lord Jesus. I pray, God, that you touch our minds even right now, God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to continue to fight. Help us to continue to fight this thing, Lord God. Help us not to stay in the situation that we are in, because once we stop fighting, Lord Jesus, the enemy will win. Lord God, I pray, God, that you just touch our minds, God. I pray, God, that you keep us in our right minds, Lord Jesus. And I pray, oh God, for those who were who are praying for help, Lord Jesus. I know there are persons out there who are praying for help, somebody, anybody to help them with this, Lord God. I pray, God, that you send them somebody to help them right now, Lord Jesus. I pray, God, that you send that one, Lord Jesus, that will help them, that will hold out their hand to them, Lord Jesus, and say, come with me, and will not judge them, Lord Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you just cover each and every one of us under your blood, Lord Jesus. God, I pray, Lord God, that your will be done even right now. I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Is Sister Kayla here? I don't think she's on yet. Okay, praise God. Okay, so we'll take um sister no missionary bleaching prayer at this time. And she's she will be praying for fear, doubt, and nervousness in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God has been so good. Amen. I just can't complain. Amen. I will be praying for fear, doubt, and nervous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. My God. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Most righteous Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now, God. I am so undone, so unworthy. But God, here I am, God, in your midst, crying out to you, God. You know every heart right now. Mm -hmm. Father God, you know everything about your people. Oh God, Father, we thank you because you has been good to us. We thank you because you is our high priest. We thank you because you are the greatest, the everlasting King, Lord of Lord, the rock of our salvation. Father God, we thank you. And oh God, even right now, Father God, as we come before your present with thanksgiving and into your we pray we say, be thankful and bless your name father god we thank you oh god hallelujah lord jesus we appreciate you for your many many blessing towards us glory to god and father god as we come before your present this afternoon god hallelujah asking you lord for direction right now in the name of Jesus, holy, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God, ask you for direction. Hey, God, we thank you. 
I pray right now, God, that you visit us. Yes, God, and every one of us on this platform in the name of Jesus. And oh God, I pray right now, God, that you remember even those who have fear. So many people are fearful, mighty God. But in the name of Jesus, Father God, if they only stand on your words, mighty God, you can deliver them, God, from the fear. Hallelujah. Oh God, fear is a rich craft. Lord Jesus, demon spirit. Hallelujah. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you touch each and every one, God. Hallelujah. Oh God, and I pray, Lord Jesus, that you, hallelujah, you heal them from that fear. Mighty God, you can do it, God, hallelujah. Father God, I was in that position and you helped me, God Almighty. So tonight, God, we are believing you by faith that God, you can touch, oh God, and deliver who have that spirit right now, Father God, because you are the greatest, you are the healer, you are the doctor, you are the conquering lion, you can do great things in each and every one of us life. Tonight, God, we come against that fearful right now. We come against that fearful spirit in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it. Oh God, hallelujah. We send it back to the pit of hell from whence it came. Father, we thank you. Daddy Jesus, if we only believe and trust you, oh God, you can take away all these fear from us, God. And tonight, Lord God, I leave it before you, God, because you are the greatest. Oh God, and I pray, God, that you remember so many are doubting. But God, if we only look into your words and believe your word, God, you will help us. Oh God, hallelujah, to do the right thing. Hallelujah, help us to cry out to you. Oh God, help us, God Almighty, to bow down before you. Help us, oh God, to reach out and touch you. Oh God Almighty, hallelujah. Father God, we come against this spirit right now in the name of Jesus. We bury them, God Almighty, hallelujah. The blood come against it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God Almighty, every doubt spirit, God, we put it on a subject and right now and set your people free. Hallelujah. We know that thou art God and the greatest and the great I am. Hallelujah. That I am the everlasting King and the Prince of peace. Father God, tonight we come to you, God, and we ask you, Lord, to deliver your people. Oh, God, who hallelujah, believe that so many times, oh God, they're doubting, hallelujah, but God, you will deliver them. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus and so much of us, God, nervousness in the name of Jesus, but God Almighty, we put the blood upon it right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, God, that is come upon your people right now, we shoot it down in the name of Jesus. We send it back to the pit of hell. We we stand on your authority, God, for there's power in your name, God, and there's deliverance in your name, God, and there's healing in your name, God Almighty. To this afternoon, God, we look into you by faith, and we are dependent on you, God Almighty. Break the yoke of this fear, this spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We know you can do it, God, if we only trust you, if we only believe you, if we only put our confidence confidence in you, God Almighty. I know you're going to see us too. Tonight, God, we thank you for what you're about to do. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, oh God, for what you're going to bring to us tonight. God Almighty, we thank you. Oh God, I will just adore you because you're excellent and you're mighty and you're awesome and you're powerful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, reach, help us to reach out and touch you. Hallelujah. For thou art the greatest and the great I am.
Ram, thou art the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the conquering lion, God Almighty. We tell you thanks tonight, God. We tell you thanks for what you're about to do and what you already do already, God. And what you're about to do again, God, we thank you. Oh, glory to God. Hear our cry tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon us, God. And oh, God, as all the spirit, God Almighty, don't fear and nervousness, God Almighty. We shut them down right now again. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. We put the blood upon them, God Almighty, and set your people free and grant us deliverance. <laughs> You are mute, miss. Sister Pam, you are on mute. Missionary Bligin. You're muted. Thank you, Jesus. He didn't hear. Hako shatala masendele makundele mama masa. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yes, we heard the prayers. That's the last part. We heard the prayers. God bless. God, oh, bless God. Maybe just turn on by accident because I'm sitting right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, to Thank Missionary Bligin for praying for us tonight. Praise God. It is praise done. Can, can, can we it unmute our mic and just give God some praise? Holy. Praise Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. I will ask Sister Evangelis Vassal to greet four visitors who are on oh. for us tonight. That's name. Oh, yes, Which after Sister Andrew pray for all youth, adult and single in Jesus' name. Evangelis Vassal greet all visitors then we ask Sister and Praise. Praise. I didn't hear that. Could you say that again? Okay. We're asking you to greet all the visitors that are here now, that are here on with us. Yes. Praise God. Bless the Lord, everyone. I didn't hear. I give God thanks for his grace and his mercy. We welcome each and every person in our youth um, mm -hmm. prayer service under the team. Let God arise. We welcome each and every visitor. First, we'd like to welcome our pastor who just came on and we did praise and worship earlier. We give God thanks for our pastor, Pastor Miriam Thompson, who is our pastor for the Emmanuel Apostolic Church in Lancaster. We give God thanks for all the saints who are on tonight, um, our unsafe friends, our backsliders, our family friends, all visitors. We welcome you tonight. Tonight, I have recognized Minister Raymond Bridgen, our, our past assistant president, youth president. We welcome, him, we welcome him tonight all the way in England. We give God thanks for you tonight. We welcome you. 
We'd like to welcome Amanda Irwin, also she's from Brooklyn, New York. We'd like to welcome Sister Jasmine also, who is from Brooklyn, New York. I'd like to welcome um, Nigel Howell, who is from Refuge Temples Ministry. So I'm not sure if he's from um, Jamaica or overseas. Anyway, we we'll welcome you tonight. Praise God. We would like to welcome Dahlia also from Rafa Christian Center from um, Canada. We welcome you tonight, Sister Dahlia, and we welcome you in Jesus' name. We'd like to welcome Sister Erica's um, niece and nephew who is always coming on and supporting us. I would like to a blessing over you tonight. We'd like to also welcome Sister Kay Greaves White. We welcome you tonight, sis, in Jesus' name. I also saw Salman, so I'm assuming it's Minister Mikhail Salman from Linston Pentecostal tonight. We welcome you tonight. If there's any other visitor, please um, inbox your, the name of your church. Or if you're not attending a church, just, at, just um, message by saying, you know, who invited you tonight? Because we really like to welcome every visitor. And we give God thanks for your presence tonight. Everybody present makes a difference. And everybody who's coming on tonight expect a great blessing. And also our guest speaker, um, Sister Chevenny Howell, we also welcome you tonight. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. So we thank Evangelist Vassal for greeting everyone for us. Praise God. And now we'll go to our other, our next prayer, which comes from Sister Andrea to pray for all youth, young, adult, and single in Jesus' name. Sister Andrea, are you there? Sister Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Okay. Yes. Sorry about pronouncing your name. Bless the Lord, everyone. It's all right. Yeah. Bless the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be unto your name, God. You are mighty. You are holy, Lord God. You are worthy of all glory, all honor, and all praise, Lord God Almighty. You are deserving, Lord God Almighty, of all glory, Jesus. There's none like you, God Almighty. There's none before you, God, none to come after you. You are the only wise, God. You are perfect in all of your ways, mighty God. I thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. I thank you for your grace. I thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done, all you're doing, all you're about to do. I thank you, Lord God, for the prayers that have gone up so far, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, for bowing down your to hear us as we pray, Lord God, and I thank you for sending deliverance, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for cleansing us, Lord God, this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for cleansing us without and within, Lord God. Thank you for breathing upon us, God Almighty, new breath, Lord God Almighty, new life in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God Almighty for releasing your fire into this line, God Almighty. Thank you, Lord God, for being with us, Lord God Almighty, as we lift up praises unto your name, Lord God. I present your youth to you, God Almighty, at this time in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for each and every one of us, Lord God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, for covering us under your blood, God. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your fresh oil, Lord God Almighty, to flow over our heads, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, for your fire to sit upon us, Lord God, to rest upon us, Lord God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, God. I thank you for anointing our eyes, Lord God, to see, Lord God Almighty, what you want us to see. I thank you, Lord God, for anointing our ears to hear from you, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for anointing our mouth, Lord God, to speak, Lord God Almighty, as you give us utterance, Lord God, to speak your word, God Almighty, to speak as you speak, God. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for placing, Lord God Almighty, your word upon our hearts, Lord God Almighty. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, that your word guides us. I thank you, Lord God, that your word is a lamp unto our feet, God Almighty, and a light unto our path, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that our feet are steady in your word, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for focusing us in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that we shall not be stagnant, Lord God, but I thank you for placing a consistency and a forward still in our spirit, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, to push forward, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, Lord God, we claim, Lord God, every youth, Lord God Almighty, for your kingdom, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we decree and declare every backsliding youth, 
our, as children of God at this time, God Almighty. I thank you for deliverance, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, for healing, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, every broken heart, Lord God, I thank you for mending. I thank you, Lord God, for breaking every chain, Lord God, every shackle over your youth, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, for releasing your fire into our minds, God Almighty. Lord God, I thank you for that our minds are subject unto you, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, that in you we live, move, and have our being. I thank you, Lord God, that in our entire being, Lord God, is subject unto you at this time, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we are steadfast, Lord God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, that we are unmovable, Lord God. I thank you for teaching us how to always abound with you, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for releasing your angels, Lord God Almighty, to every post, Lord God, that we are our at Lord God Almighty in our everyday lives, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for helping us in school, Lord God Almighty. I thank you for releasing our academics, God Almighty. Thank you for releasing the A pluses, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for releasing our finances, God Almighty. Lord God, everything that concerns us, Lord God Almighty, I thank you for releasing, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for releasing your blood, Lord God Almighty, into our homes, God Almighty. I thank you that your blood prevails, God Almighty, in our going out and our coming in. I thank you that your blood prevails, God Almighty. Lord God, I thank you that in our households, your blood prevails, Lord God. In the school places, your blood prevails. In the workplaces, I thank you that your blood prevails, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for keeping us, Lord God. Thank you for keeping our minds, keeping our hearts, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that every mouth spoke speaking against us, Lord God Almighty, is condemned, Lord God, and is silenced now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that every pen written against us, God Almighty, is broken now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that it shall not work, Lord God Almighty. I thank you that every fiery dart sent against us, God Almighty, is sent back to the sender, God Almighty, now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that we shall not be removed, God Almighty. I thank you that our stories will not be underwritten, God Almighty, Lord God, but I Thank you that your will shall be done in our lives, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your singles, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. As we wait on you, God Almighty, Lord God, as your people wait, I thank you that we're not just waiting on you, Lord God, but I thank you for teaching us how to wait in you, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for granting us patience, Lord God Almighty, and I thank you, Lord God, for leading us on, Lord God Almighty, and I thank you, Lord God, for helping, Lord God, your people to keep our purity, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, as we wait in you, God Almighty. I thank you for granting us peace, God Almighty, in our everyday lives. I thank you, Lord God, for granting us endurance, God Almighty, and long-suffering, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your glory, Lord God, to be risen up in us, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for activating heaven within us, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, for activating your kingdom within us, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, that it shall be on earth, Lord God, as it is in heaven, God Almighty. I thank you, Lord God, God, for granting us an unwavering faith, God Almighty, to push still, Lord God, to believe still upon your word, God Almighty. I thank you for rooting out every doubt, every fear, Lord God, every worry, Lord God Almighty, for you have not given us those, Lord God Almighty, but I thank you, Lord God, for the sound spirit that you have given us, Lord God Almighty, to push forward and to press, God Almighty, and I thank you that our pressing will not be in vain, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are our guidance, Lord God, you are our deliverer, Lord God Almighty, you are our shelter in the time of storm, God Almighty, we cannot be harmed. God Almighty, I thank you, Lord God, for forming a shield around us. God Almighty, you are the glory and the lifter of our heads, God. I thank you for sending an encouragement to our spirits, Lord God. I thank you for sending an encouragement to our souls, God Almighty, that we may journey on, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that your will be done at this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Can everyone mute the mic and say amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So the next prayer will come from Sister Kayla Francis. Is she on now? Thank you, God, for your grace, mighty God. Thank you, God, for sparing our lives to see another day, mighty God. God, without you, oh God, we are nothing, mighty God. And right now, God, has, oh God, has, I put our children before you, mighty God. Oh God, I pray, God, that you bless us, mighty God. Oh God, I pray, God, that you keep us from harm and danger, mighty God. Oh God, I pray, God, that you pop back, oh God, every dark clothes right now, God. 
Oh God, when you're depressed, mighty God, help us to know, God, oh God, that you gave your life for us, mighty God. Oh God, help us, oh God, to oh God, look up unto you, oh God, because there's nothing in the world, oh God, worth more than you, Jesus. Mighty God, guide us, oh God, strengthen us, mighty God, keep us right now, God. Oh God, the enemy, oh God, is out, oh God, seeking whom he who he may do for our mighty God. Oh God. oh God, but I ask, oh God, that you just cover us under your righteousness, mighty God. Mm -hmm. Oh God, help us, oh God, to know that, oh God, you are, oh God, all, oh God, help us to know, oh God, that you are everything, mighty God. Oh God, you are better than, oh God, our schoolwork, mighty God. You are better than everything, mighty God. Oh God, give us the knowledge, mighty God. Give us the understanding, Jesus. Oh God, and those, oh God, who are, oh God, getting prepared, oh God, for CXC, mighty God. Oh God, I pray, oh God, to help us, oh God, to, oh God, gain knowledge, mighty God. Oh God, I pray, oh God, to just help us, Jesus, mighty God. <clears throat> Oh God, as I look to you right now, God, and I tell thanks, oh God, for whatsoever you have done, God, and what you have been doing. In your name I pray. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Can all the young brothers unmute your mic and just give the best praise? Just hallelujah three times all the brothers hallelujah 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 praise god thank you jesus and now we'll ask missionary wolf and she will be praying for families praise god praise god hallelujah thank you jesus eternal god and our father savior jesus christ the king of kings and the lord of lord hallelujah the conquering lion of the tribe of judah the only wise god hallelujah the god this morning oh god the god tonight of our father abraham isaac and jacob oh god we just want to give you thanks tonight we just want to tell you thanks, God, for carrying us throughout today. Oh, God Almighty, so many things could befall us. But because of your love, because of your mercy, because of your kindness, because, oh, God Almighty, you is a faithful God and you kept your promises, oh, God Almighty, oh, God, we just want to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And tonight, here we are, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, on this platform. Oh, God, we come in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we come in no other name, but in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, for at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that you are God. You are the almighty God. You are the all-powerful God. You are the excellent Jesus. Oh, God, you never fail. You never change. From everlasting, hallelujah, to everlasting, you are God. There's none beside you. There's none to be compared to you. Oh, God, you are God by yourself. You stretch the heaven like a curtain, and you tell the circuit thereof how great, oh, God, you are tonight. We just want to tell you thanks. And God, tonight as we come, yes, God, we bind up our spirit right now we bind up oh god almighty everything that is not of you principalities and power we shut down the gate of purge right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah yes god we shut it down we shut down the gate of purge in the name of jesus and so tonight mighty god as i call to pray for family yes god almighty oh god you are the god hallelujah that oh god keep family oh god the family that prays together oh god will stay together and tonight almighty god i present everything 
our family, oh God Almighty, in your hand tonight. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you build a family. There are so many family, God, right now that has tear apart. There are so many family, God, right now. Oh God Almighty, are so discouraged, so grieved. They are mourning and they are weeping family but in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i place family in your hand in the name of jesus that lord you will deliver that god you will save mighty god in the name of jesus you are god by yourself you take care of oh god family oh god almighty yes god you are the covenant keeping god you promise god almighty mighty oh god almighty that you will keep lord jesus that which oh god we have committed unto you and so god because family oh god is committed to you god i commit family in your hand i commit the oh god almighty the mushet family in your hand right now i commit oh god almighty the francis family i commit the bleaching family i commit the vassal family I commit, oh God Almighty, the Tamsu family. Yes, God. I commit the Newman family. I commit the Kelly's family this, oh God, tonight. I commit the Re oh God family, the Collins family tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And everyone that is on this platform, I commit every family in your hand and in your care. Yes, God Almighty, breathe upon family. Breathe upon them that are mourning. Breathe upon them that are disturbed and are confused. Yes, God, you can do it because you are the great Almighty God. You specialize in things that are in Possible. And when the enemy say yes, God, you say no, because God Almighty, that's the God you are. And so tonight, upon the authority of the Holy Ghost and everything that you have instilled within us as we come, God, and we join together as a mighty force. Yes, God, we're pulling down the stronghold in the family. Yes, God, the stronghold, God Almighty, of finance, the stronghold of sickness, the stronghold, oh God, of family curse, generation curse. We pull them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Breathe upon family tonight, God. Oh God, have your way tonight. We are looking in your hand, God, because you are a deliverer. You are a very present help in the time of trouble you never fail god because you are the never failing god and so god we stand up on the authority oh god almighty of your words tonight in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we say god we call god that family god be reunited Family, God, will be bound together in unity and in love. Yes, God, build back the broken family. Build back the broken and the shattered family. God, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, walk Holy Ghost. Yes, Yes, God, in the name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we call you God Almighty in every family tonight, God, in every family, in every home, and we call everything done in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we call it done, and we tell you thanks for doing so. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. So our before our next prayer, I'm asking all the young 
sisters to unmute your mic and give God and just give God three. Thank you, Jesus. All the young sisters. No. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And now we'll ask Evangelist Vassal to pray for academic success. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise God. We thank Praise you, Lord, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for this hour of prayer. I thank you, Lord, for all the prayers that have gone up at this time. Lord, we present at this time all our youths and our children, all our students who are studying at this time, Lord Jesus. Lord, we can declare blessings over our students, over our children from early childhood straight up to university. Lord, you see those who are doing early childhood at this time and their struggles, they have very struggles at this time on online classes. I declare a blessing over them at this time, the teachers, the principals who have to deal with them on a daily basis, oh Lord Jesus, whether online or face-to-face, -face, Lord, COVID-19 has stepped in and faced some great challenges on the academic realm, oh Lord, but I declare a blessing upon our students that they will be successful, they will get the grades they deserve at this time. Those are in primary school at this time having issue, but you can declare a blessing over their exams, over their studying at this time. If you attack launch against their mind when they're studying, we shut it down and I decree and declare focus in the name of Jesus. Whatever spirit that was sent to distract them in their room or at home, we shut it down at this time, Lord. Those who are studying in high school, oh Lord, trying to go to a different farm, Lord Jesus, I declare and declare academic success at this time. Some have tuition issues, some have, Lord Jesus, so many other type of expenses, but I declare clear academic breakthrough and financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Some are doing CSEC, some are doing CAPE, Lord Jesus, some, oh Lord Jesus, are studying different examinations, Lord, and Lord Jesus, whatever they're going through, help them to find different methods and different means and ways to understand their content at this time, Lord. Lord, remember those who are applying for college and university, they're having struggles, oh Lord, they're having, oh Lord Jesus, discouragement, oh bad discouragement at this time. And Lord, wherever they need help, Lord, release destiny helpers to help them to choose the right college, the right university at this time. Even those who are in university and college and they're having issues there with their lecturers, with online classes, with their deans. Lord Jesus, I declare, declare academic success. Some owe student loan. Lord Jesus, some persons don't see the first cent to pay their tuition. Lord, some are desiring and aspiring to go to further studies, Lord. Lord, direct them this hour at this time, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Or teachers who are struggling, touch them. Or principals, oh Lord. Heads, heads of the academic, oh Lord Jesus, touch them at this time, Lord. Those are seeking job, but they can declare that they will find job at this time, oh Lord. Our students are blessed. Lord, help them to be 10 times like Daniel. Lord Jesus, they are A students at this time. We'll ban failure in the mighty name of Jesus. I will cut down, Lord Jesus, every generational curse that was passed upon our young people, that they will be successful and they shall be great men and women of God anywhere that they go. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can everyone mute their mic and just let us just worship the Lord? Hallelujah. We give you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for tonight. We thank you. Hallelujah for your mercies. Oh God, we worship you. Name. We give you glory. Hallelujah. You deserve every praise, God. Your praise belongs to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pastor Miriam Thompson, will you greet us now in Jesus' name? Okay, seems as if she got cut off. 
Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. Praise, Praise him. Um, is Pastor Tamsu there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. We're asking you to give your greetings in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God for such a honorable privilege. Praise God. Hallelujah. That we can come tonight again. We were on last night. And here we are tonight again to give God thanks. Praise God. The song said he didn't have to make us live. And he didn't have to set us free. But praise God. We are glad he did. Praise God. So we have to live up, praise God, to his expectation. Live a worthy life. Praise God. We don't want to just beat the ear by talking and talking. We want to live, praise God, a dedicated life. Praise God. Hallelujah. That when we live this life, we can live in the life to come. Praise God. He's depending on us as true warriors and true soldiers. Hallelujah. Praise God. Live for him. Praise God. And even the young ones, praise God. God give you the strength, praise God, hallelujah, that you can live, praise God. He said, praise God, if you can't, cannot preach, you must live. If you cannot sing, you must live, hallelujah, whatever, praise God, just live for Jesus. That's what matters, praise God. After this life is over, praise God, and everything, praise God, the online trouble, Praise God, children trouble, teachers trouble, every kind of trouble will soon be over. Praise God. So we have to make sure that our anchor holds and grip the solid rock. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our soul matters. My God. Hallelujah. Um, school and everything is just for this life. But we have to fight that we might have eternal life. God bless you and Zoom. Bless everyone. Bless those that are leading at the forefront. God give you grace. God give you strength. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank Praise you, God. Pastor Thompson, for those encouraging words. Praise God. Thanks to everyone who come out and pray for us tonight. So now it's time for the word and evangelist Basil will do this part for us in Jesus name. Be blessed. Bless the Lord everyone. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thanks for you. Service and we give thanks for the At the time, I just like to introduce to us um, Sister Shevani Sowell. Sister Shevani Sowell is our guest speaker tonight. She's from the Manchester. Um, she is filled with the Holy Ghost for the past 20 years now. She's a teacher by profession and she loves to encourage others. I also know her as an author of a powerful book called Call to Be Inspired. God is not through with you yet. You know, she's a very um, powerful young lady. Over time, I know that she is um, anointed to just encourage others and just to be a light to the youth and children of this time. So at this time, we welcome Sister Shevani Soil in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you, Sister Leota. Thank you very much for the introduction given. God bless you all tonight. I just want to say thank you for the invitation extended to me. And um, first and foremost, I just want to give God thanks for this opportunity. In addition to that, I'd like to greet Pastor Miriam Thompson, our moderator missionary, Natasha Wolf, our dear 
Youth President Evangelist Leota Mushet Vassal. Our assistant, um, your assistant president, Sister Althea Thompson, and just about everyone who has joined us tonight via Zoom and also Facebook. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And I see some friends and family members who have joined tonight. And if I start calling names, I may get in trouble. And at this time, before I venture into anything, I just want you to bow your heads with me while I pray. Lord, we thank you for this a beautiful night, one that we've never seen before. Lord, we humbly come before your presence, Lord, and as I am about, dear Lord God, to deliver that which you have deposited in my spirit, I pray, oh God, that you will take full control, and I pray, oh God, that your words will fall on good ground, and that your children, oh God Almighty, will be recipients of it. We give you thanks for that which you have in store for us tonight. These and other mercies I ask of, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Tonight's theme says, let God arise. And the scripture that we'll be looking at tonight is Psalm 68, verses 1 through to 3. And it says, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him Flee before him as smoke is driven away, so drive them away as wax melteth before the fire. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God, but let the righteous be glad. Let the righteous rejoice before God. Let them exceedingly rejoice. And as I look at the theme tonight, it says, let God arise. When I look at the word let, it says to permit, to allow, arise, to spring up, to come into action or to become operative, to ascend, to mount or to move to a higher place. When I look at the word let, it's an action word. It is very, 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 very powerful because it involves your will, your choice. And you know, you're giving God permission. You are releasing God from confinement. And if I should give this a little subtopic tonight, I'd say, just do it, give it to God. As I observe these three verses, I realize the word let's is used seven times. Basically, it is saying, allow God to rise up in a hostile sense and stand up towards his enemies and establish his purpose. We see two sets of people in these two verses with different results when God arise. One group responded negatively. They flee, they scattered. And the second group acted positively which were the righteous, they rejoiced and they gathered unto God. This song of David was sung when the ark was moved to Mount Zion. This is about the same time that happened when the cloud by day and the fire by night moved to lead the children of Israel in the wilderness. And says, as long as the presence of God was stationary over the camp. The Israelites stayed camped. And when the presence of God moved by the fire or the smoke, the presence followed. In a sense, it was God rising and moving. We do know that when God sent them into battle with the ark, with them, they won the battle. In a sense, again, the enemy was scattered. I believe we would be more successful in our endeavors for God now if we would let him lead the way. Many times we get ahead of God and what happened is that we fail. We also know that the fame of what happened to Pharaoh of Egypt spread and the people before the company of the Israelites were afraid of Israel's God and so they fled. 
let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. What a powerful theme we have tonight. Let God be at the forefront of your lives, of our lives. Let him lead us into our destiny. God doesn't need help. All he needs is for us to trust him and to take him at his word. Psalm, I mean, Proverbs 3 verse 5, it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Do you trust him to arise and take his righteous position? Some of us, we have given the devil that place in our lives. I guess what? The results that we're looking for is not forthcoming. Now we have to pour out our praise as God takes his position. Ain't no devil in hell can destroy us when we allow God to rise in our lives. Every demon will tremble. Every backlash will be nullified and canceled. We see Moses crying out in Numbers 10 verse 35. And when he said, arise up, Lord, let thine enemies be scattered and let them that hate thee flee before thee. We've seen the Ark of the Covenant is being carried and it follows the crowd of glory, the cloud of glory. The God who told Moses to arise was in that cloud. No human initiated the move of the cloud. No flesh had no part in it, but God. And so people had to comply with what God was doing. Now, this is quite interesting. In Jeremiah 20, the prophet was experiencing a very tough time in his life. The Jews were threatening to kill him, and Jeremiah was fighting fear. How many of us have been fighting fear in our lives? Yet in the midst of it all, he found comfort and exclaimed, but the Lord is with me like a dread champion. If we simply allow God to arise, the problems that are nipping, at our heels, causing worry and fear will leave us. Psalm 68 verse 2 tells us that the enemies of God are of no importance. The inherent principles of the verse tells us the ultimate happiness of the righteousness depends on God's triumph over his enemy. When the Israelites cried, let God arise, it became a cry of change. Tonight, my dear sisters and brothers, that is forward progress. When God arrives, changes takes place. This change sometimes brings forth discomfort. It brings challenges. We sometimes are too complacent in our midst. When we, from the depths of our hearts, have been asking God to arise, but our minds are not at the place for God to carry out his side of the bargain. When he leads, he will take us into places we've never dreamt of. We will be able to experience the move of God from glory to glory. All God wants of us tonight is to ask of him, is to put him at the forefront of everything. Allow him to rise. Allow him to take full control of your situation. We have seen him action when David said he's going in the name of the Lord. We saw where David defeated Goliath. No matter how critical the situation is, in Isaiah it says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help thee, and I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. What a word of consolation tonight. Money the spouse, the career, the fame, or flesh cannot arise, but God must arise. God must be held in high esteem for him to function tonight. When God arise, we know that he will take full control of it. He is gone ahead. God wants to arise in your finances. He wants to arise in your marriages, in your work environment, in your church. And guess what? When God arise, Isaiah reminds us that I will go before thee and make the crooked paths straight. I will break in 
pieces the grates, the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. We are reminded in Deuteronomy 1 verse 33, when it says, who went in the way before you to search out a place for you to pitch your tents to show you the way you should go in the fire by night and in the cloud by day. And Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 tells us that the Lord, he it is that doth go before us and he will be with us and he will not fail us. Neither will he forsake us. So we should not fear. We should not be dismayed. When God arrives in our lives, demons tremble. Our situation changes when God is given precedence. He will be able to work in full effect. We are no longer in control of our situations. He is now given total authority to take full control. And he will carry out his purpose. Some of us, we have God in a box called confinement. We place him on the lowest level in of our lives. We try to fight our battles on our own. We doubt him and his excellency. We speak from our lips that God is when our hearts are saying something else. But we really know that God, he is all powerful. And when we allow God to rise, access is granted to us. How many of us want access to be granted unto us tonight? Because God is the one who is fighting our battles. And I know for a fact that Psalm 46 verse 10 tells us that we should be still and to know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted among the earth or within the earth. When God arrives on our spirits, are aligned with him, self is slain. When God arrives, we receive victories after victories after victories. When God arrives, our minds are set free. When God arrives, we have access to the inaccessible. The devil's plans are rendered powerless because daddy Jesus is in control. He goes before us. And Psalm 136 verse 1 tells us to him who led his people through the wilderness for his loving kindness is everlasting. When we allow God to rise, he does so in many ways. We can testify tonight that when God takes over situations, he continues to do so in a gentle manner. And sometimes he does so using different methods, but it is the same results. We cannot limit a limitless God tonight. And so I encourage you to allow the Lord to lead you as you go from strength to strength. And when God goes before us, we are reminded in Isaiah 45 verse 2, he makes the crooked path straight and I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. We are reminded of Deuteronomy 1 verse 33. Who went in the way before you to search out a place for you to pitch in your tent, to show you the way you should go in the fire by night and in the cloud by day. Mighty God of Daniel. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 tells us, and the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. And he promised us, that he will never leave us nor forsake thee. Listen, God has never lost a battle. He is our all time champion. He rose from the grave triumphantly. He snatched the victory from the grave. He is the father to the fatherless and strength to the strengthless. He is our undefeated giant. He is the mighty warrior the redeemer, he is the God of war. And so many a times we take our situations in our hand and we fight a losing battle. When in fact, we are told that we should allow God to be at the forefront of our situations, whatever it is that you're going through tonight, put God on the job, put him back in his rightful position. Many of us, as I stated before, we have him on the back burner. That's not the rightful position or place of God. He wants to be at the forefront. 
And if we don't do that tonight, everything is going to go down the drain. Our lives are going to become so uncomfortable. And we are wondering what next to do. Why me, Lord? Why me? Why don't you ask the question to yourself? Why not allow the Lord to fight my battles? And so tonight, whatever it is that you're going through, remember to allow God to be at the forefront. Many of us, we try to take up things on our own and we fight the battle here, there, and everywhere. And we call a host of friends and we tell them, hey, fight this for me. Why not fight on your knees and tell the Lord to go before you? Had it not been for God today, we would not have survived the many storms that we have survived. And some of us, we're going through a, some situations tonight and we are wondering what next to do. The Lord is requiring us to put him back, put him at the front, not at the side, not at the back, but at the forefront of everything that we so desire. And some of us, we are praying some prayers and we are saying, God, let your perfect will be done. Yes, that's lip service for many of us. But are we truly believing with our heart that the Lord is able to do that which we ask of him to do? Many of us, we're using the testimonies of other persons and we're saying that God is a healer and he healed Sister Brown. But I'm here still sick. What about me? How about you putting God at the forefront of your illness, putting him at the forefront of your finances. Some of us, if we have funds, we are happy. When we don't have anything, we are sad and we wonder what next to do. And we depend on our mother, our father, our sister, our brothers to help us to get through. When in fact, if God doesn't provide for them, we will not be able to gain access to that which we would have asked them for. And so tonight before going to Sister X, our brother Y, approach God and put him on the battle that you want him to fight. Put him at the forefront of your battles. And the one thing I know about God is that when he gives you a battle, he's not going to leave you on your own to fight it. He's going to give it his best shot. He's going to fight it for you. Who does that? Who gives a student a test? Which teacher gives a student a test and does it for them? None. But God, when he gives you a test, he fights it for you. He completes it for you. The only thing God wants us to do is to praise him in advance. Put him at the forefront and keep on saying, yes, God, I worship you, I magnify you, I glorify you. Give him adoration. That's the only thing that he requires of us tonight, to praise him. Even while we're going through our circumstances, do not allow it to take full control of your life because we already know who is ahead. And when we looked at the story with Job, God was the one who approached the devil. And so have you ever considered it might have been the Lord who might have asked the devil to permit some things to happen to us? But yet still we are saying, no, it's because of our disobedience. It's because of this or because of that. The Lord is not going to give us any battle that we cannot win. And so young people, old people, middle age, whatever category we are in, just remember, put God at the forefront. We can make it. It doesn't matter what, what storm may rock or ship. The Lord is in our ship. We may be tossed to and fro, but God is there. Before we were even conceived in our mother's womb, he has orchestrated a plan for our lives. So why are we worrying? Why are we trying to fight the battles on our own when we know that God said he will take care and he's going to supply all our needs according to his riches in glory? He did not say once. Many of us, we have some things that are considered once. But the Bible tells us that the Lord will supply our needs according to his riches in glory. There is nothing too hard for God to do tonight. And just as we've read in many Psalms and other scriptures, 
how much the Lord fought for those persons in the Bible days, he's able to do it for us tonight. Stop complaining and start praising. You're there sitting in your mess because of complacency. You've become so complacent in your mess, forgetting that God needs to be at the forefront. When you wake up in the morning, put him at the front of your day. When you're going, before you go to bed, put him at the front of your sleep. Say, Lord, go before me. Because nobody knows what the morrow may hold, but I know who holds the future in his hand. And the Bible tells us, young man, I call upon you because you are strong. It in us says because you are weak because you are strong. And young people, I want to encourage you and myself tonight. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. When God arrives in our life, those who have counted us out, they will have to congratulate us, not knowing that they placed a timeline on your life or a particular blessing that you should have received when in fact God is the one who has orchestrated our lives. And so tonight, the battle is not yours, it is God. And if we allow him to arise in our lives, there is no battle that is too tough for God to fight and there is no mountain too high for him to climb tonight. Why are we doubting the potential that God has? Take him from the back burners. Take him from the lowest level in our lives and place him at the forefront and watch what he does on our behalf. Let us place him in the rightful position tonight. I don't know who it is that put God on the back burner because you realize that things are not working out for you. You got to take him back, put him back where he needs to be. Because if you don't, you will die. Not. Um, praise the Lord, Sister Chevenise. Um, you're muted. Bless God. Whatever the situation is in your life, just remember wherever you are zooming in from, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Instagram, whatever your platform is, whatever the situation is, put God at the forefront. Take him from the back burner. You want to see God do some things in your life? Trust him wholeheartedly and watch him work on your behalf. May the peace of Lord be with you. May you continue to love him even when you don't feel like. May you find a praise even while you are going through your circumstances. Because God, he is good. He deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be praised. And so while you're going through, you're going through, just remember that God, he deserves to be praised. Many a times we put or we give the devil all the praise. Devil, I ride my back here, there, and everywhere. Why not say, God, I'm available. Use me for your service. Have thine own sweet way in my life. And when we put God, when we learn to put God at the forefront, just like David or Goliath will be slain, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We just have your pastor just to um, pray a coverage prayer for our speaker mm -hmm. tonight in Jesus' name. And Glad we're collecting God. all prayer requests at this time in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a word. Hallelujah. Praise God. When, praise God, you, you appeal yourself for God to use you as the perfect vessel. Praise God. Hallelujah. The channel. Hallelujah. 
that he sends his word true. To God be the glory. Praise God. Eternal God, Father, friend, counselor. Oh God, we thank you for this young woman, God, who dedicated our life. Oh God, hallelujah, that, that you, oh God, could speak to her. Hallelujah, words of life. Oh God, hallelujah. Yes, God, they are not, oh God, hallelujah, from the roof, oh God. Hey God, but Lord, they are coming from whom? Hallelujah, straight from the throne room of God. Yes, God, you speak to this young woman. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you have built ourselves. Oh, God, hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you surround her. Oh, God, with goodness. Surround her, oh, God, with long life. Oh, God, hallelujah. Give her joy, peace, long suffering. Oh, God, all the works. Oh, God, hallelujah. Yes, God, hallelujah. Hey, God of the spirit, hallelujah. Continue to manifest through her. Cover her, oh, God, from the plans and the plot of the enemy. Satan, no love this. Atala Mashaya, Eko Mashandai. But God, build, oh God, a coverage, oh God, around her, an edge around her. Like, Lord, you build an edge around Job. Build this edge around this young woman. Help her to stand. Stand when friends are gone. Stand when she are all alone. Oh God, have been done all stand in the name of jesus we tell you thanks in jesus name amen thank you jesus hallelujah in jesus name everybody yes god hallelujah yes god one more time in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name Jesus' name. We just want to give God thanks for our sister seven years tonight for reminding us that you know when God steps into our life, demons have to scatter. God. When God arises in our situation, you know, allow the Lord to direct us in our situation to remind us that we serve a limitless God. And it doesn't matter what situation that we're going to put God first. In she gave Jesus some powerful name. scriptures for us to read in Isaiah 45, verse 2, Deuteronomy 1, verse 33. Deuteronomy 30, verse 8, and I hope our youth are recording these scriptures. These are powerful words, as my pastor said, coming from the throne room. Praise God. So let God arise in our situation. And we were truly encouraged. I was encouraged. And I give God thanks for your sister Shevanese. And I declare and declare blessing in Jesus' name. At this time, we're going to close up and we're collecting all prayer requests at this time. If there's any prayer requests, this message in um in our message messenger on zoom and i want to thank um missionary natasha wolf for leading us tonight for moderating for us tonight we give god thanks for you in jesus name if there's any prayer requests whether on facebook youtube or on instagram just send your prayer request tonight and we're going to ask sister natasha to pray for all these requests and cover us in jesus name praise god thanks thanks I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. Thanks. Thanks, I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. Can somebody hold themselves and sing? Thanks, thanks, I give you thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed. 
my soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Wave hands in the air and sing. Thanks. Just wave your hands. Thanks. I give you thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done. For all you have done. I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Let God arise in your situation. Thanks. Thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. At this time, I'm asking Sister Sarah Newman, our secretary, just to read all the prayer requests. And at this time, um, Natasha Wolf will be praying for these requests in Jesus' name and close off and cover us at this time. Go ahead, Sister Sarah. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Okay, so we have um, a prayer request coming from Sister Renee. She's asking for blood coverage as she goes back to school on Monday. Um, Sister Chateauvia is asking for prayer for her father, her classmates, and her teachers. Um, Sister Shireen is asking for prayer for the Ferguson family. Um, Nigel Howell is asking for prayer for him that God will come to cover him. Okay. Um, I think this is Evany is asking for prayer to protect her family and everyone in the world. Um, the Price family is asking for prayers for healing and deliverance for their family. Um, my prayer request was for prayer for my friend and her mother. Um, Brother Ishmael's prayer request is prayer for his friends, his family, and for his upcoming exams. Um, Sister Chevanese's prayer request is prayer for herself and her family. Um, the Francis family, oh, Sister Carlene is asking for prayer for her mother. Um, Sister Leota is asking for prayer for, oh, Brother Lisson is asking for prayer for, them, for, for the Mushet family. Let me check if there are any on Facebook. Okay, so Desiree Ferguson is asking for prayer for her family, especially her mother. Yes, so that was that one was from Facebook. So, oh, um, hold on. Monique is asking for a prayer for the Bailey and McLaughlin family. I think I pronounced her right. And um, Sister Leota is asking for a prayer for all the backsliders. Brother Ishmael is asking for a prayer for all the grade six students who are about to sit their PEP exams. So that they may do well in Jesus' name. Praise God. They might not remember all the requests, but they're written there. You can just glimpse on them and just pray individually. And I'm asking everyone just to un unite wherever you are and agree with Sister Natasha. Just type an amen or utter it in the atmosphere to show that you're in agreement to the prayers in Jesus' name. And you'll also cover us as we leave in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise Please bow your head while I pray. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You're awesome. Oh, God, you're excellent. You're wonderful. Oh, God, you're magnificent. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. Please compare to you. There is none that is above you, none beneath you, none beside you. You are God and God alone. You are God and God by yourself. And Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for tonight. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that has been said and done here tonight, mighty God. We thank you, Lord, for the encouraging words, God. We thank you for all the prayers 
oh God. Father God, we thank you for everyone, oh God, who is on this platform right now, mighty God. Father God, I pray tonight, Lord Jesus, that our heart, oh God, will be blessed, Lord. I pray, God, that as we hear the word today, tonight, mighty God, that, Lord, we will hide these words in our heart. Lord, we will meditate upon these words. And, God, that we not just be a hearer of these words, but also to be a doer of these words. Father, you hear all the prayer requests tonight, mighty God, Lord Jesus. Father God, you, oh God, hear the different, oh God, prayer requests. Families, oh God, Lord, prayer for coverage, Lord Jesus. Prayer for deliverance, hallelujah. Oh God, prayer, Lord Jesus, for, oh God, those who are sick, Lord. Father God, academic-wise, God, you have heard all the requests. And so, Lord God Almighty, we put them before you tonight, Lord Jesus. Oh God, nothing is too hard, oh God, for you, mighty God. Hallelujah, God. I pray tonight, Lord Jesus, that God, you will hear these requests and that God, you will answer these requests, mighty God. I pray, God, that those who need deliverance will be delivered. Oh God, I pray, God, that those who need, oh God, coverage, Lord Jesus, that they will be covered, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, all the families, oh God, that request prayer for family, oh God, intervene, mighty God. Lord Jesus, you know every situation in every family right now, mighty God. You know what they are going through, what they are in need of, mighty God. And so, Lord Jesus, I pray right now, God, that you intervene. Lord, I pray, God, that you fix, oh God, everything that is to be fixed because God you know how to fix it mighty God and when you fix it Lord it is well fixed Father God cover everyone at this time under your blood cover all oh God your people tonight Lord Jesus Father God those who are doing exam oh God Almighty coming up in March mighty God those who are going back to school Lord prayer for teachers oh God prayer for friends prayer for fathers oh God we put them all before you tonight mighty God and we pray God that you deliver tonight mighty God I pray God that you hear oh God these requests tonight and that God you will answer this prayer tonight mighty God Father God so that your people who ask for prayer oh God that they can come back and testify oh God that they have gotten their breakthrough that they've gotten their deliverance Oh, God Almighty, I pray tonight, Lord Jesus, that you'll be with us. Cover each and every one of us under your precious blood. Oh, God, at this time, mighty God, as we, you know each and everyone in their separate homes right now, mighty God. I pray, Lord God, blood coverage over every family at this time. Mighty God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll see us too, Lord God Almighty. Be with us now, Lord God Almighty, as we look to you tonight, Lord God. And we give you thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Everybody, just lift a hand and just say thank you, Jesus. Lift a hand and tell him thanks for the word. Thank you, Jesus. I give God thanks for the words, the prayers. Thank you, I give God thanks for tonight. I give God thanks for the breakthrough. I give God thanks for the prayers. I thank God for the blood. Thank you, Lord, for touching every person. Hallelujah, your word is so great. I thank you, Lord, for touching this power. I give God thanks for all our nurses here another day, another night. Thank you. Every Sunday, God, cover my cover body, cover soul. I thank you, Lord, for life. I thank you, Lord, for strength. I thank you, Lord, for making a way. I thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be in your presence. God, arise, your enemies be scattered. Yes. Lord, shut our enemies at this time, arise in our situation. I thank you, Lord, for the blessings. I thank you, Lord, for the releases. And I thank you, Lord, for increase and faith over our life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just slip and just shout, thank you, Jesus. Anywhere you are, just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, thank Jesus. you Jesus. One more time, thank Sean. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout glory. Glory. What he's doing. I give God the thanks for all the visitors that came on tonight. Visitors came on was Sister Monique from Mount Zion Apostolic Church. 
and we also welcome Sister Angela and any other visitor that came on tonight. We welcome you. I pray that you are you are blessed. And we're closing off February. February is finished, and tomorrow is um March is coming up. So next week, same time, Thursday at 6 p.m. That's the time that we start our youth prayer service every Thursday at 6 p.m. And we'll continue to pray with youths and children. And we'll announce the next speaker for next week. Mm -hmm. This is the time for everyone in Jesus' name. And we'll our pastor just to say the benediction at this time in Jesus' name. Is it for right hand, everyone? You're on mute. You're on mute, Pastor. May the words of our mouth. May the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.